Blizzard have just made it so much easier to actually gear out your character as soon as you hit level 70 during the pre-patch. This will make leveling up all the way to 80 so much faster, and it also reduced one of the hardest things it was in the game to do as you hit a new max level on a character, and that's always gonna be to get weapons. There hasn't been a blue post about it, there hasn't been any announce yet today, but it's been a few hours, and for a while, it's looked like, pretty much, that Blizzard has greatly reduced the honor needed to buy the actual gear from the Brutal Gladiators gear. So your season four gear, Blizzard has drastically reduced the honor by like almost 60%. Two-handed weapons were costing almost 30K honor and now they're at 19K honor. Now, this seems like one of the most simple and obvious things in the game. And realistically, that's because it is. I think there's a lot of guides out there talking about how to gear your character for pre-patch and I'm actually working on one that's realistic and how the best ways to do it. But there's a lot of things going around like farm your revered or honored reputations so you can get the blue gear, the blue PVP gear. That is a massive waste of time. There's no point in doing that whatsoever when in one afternoon you could get two or three pieces of your Brutal Gladiators gear, which this gear is not as good as their Sunwell gear, but it will hold up extremely well. It literally will hold up until you're around level 75 when leveling. And the weapons themselves, like let's just say the two-handed sword for an unholy death knight that wants to level up, you are using this and it is your third best weapon in the entire game. The only things better are gonna be weapons directly out of Sunwell. So if you wanna get your weapons, if you wanna get your one-handed weapons, if you're a caster, it doesn't matter what class you are, this will be a huge way of gearing up your character. And it'll also make things just a lot easier for you as you want to gear out your other set pieces. After that, you're obviously going to want to do heroics, you're going to want to do raids, but the most contested things in raids, even if you are going in with a ton of gold, is always going to be the weapons. And this is going to be the most expensive thing if you went in GDKPs or if you were in a guild run, you're basically going to see everybody fight over the weapons. So if you can take those out with one afternoon of PvP, then you have set yourself up completely for leveling up all the way to 80. Now, we still haven't seen anything about this from Blizzard themselves and that just means they're probably taking some more time to release patch notes for what they did today on the beta and this will jump you in a massive boost in actual DPS or strength right at level 70 and realistically guys I'm serious it is going to be so easy to farm this especially when there's like an AV weekend and if you're not even farming this gear maybe just go into the battlegrounds and stock up on honor anyways because it's going to be super fun if you are fully geared to walk in and absolutely destroy everybody who has absolutely no gear and then from there you'll move on to the raids and so on and so forth. I do want to say really quickly, I am putting together a full guide of how you can gear up your character fast and all the mistakes you don't want to make when you hit level 70, but that will be coming out in the next couple days. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Good luck out there and I'll see you all in all of those BGs. Oh yeah, guys, and one last thing I want to mention is make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay updated on all the news on Wrath of the Lich King, but also the guides. There's going to be a new hunter guide for Marksman coming out for Wrath of the Lich King, and then I'm also having a couple pre-patch character guides coming soon so you can know how to gear your character, how to play the character, what's your rotation, all of that. So just like, subscribe in the comments. I don't know, man. Either way, I'll see you guys all out there.